Okay, let's take a look at that first argument that we considered at the beginning. Either the American or the National League wins. Since the American League did not win, the National League did. Okay, and our first our first step is always to reconstruct the argument in standard form. Well, the conclusion is obviously the National League won. And two premises we're going to find either the American League wins or the National League wins. The American League did not win, therefore the National League wins. And this is going to be our first example of a good, a good, a well formed, a valid inference in propositional logic. Now remember propositional logic, the logic whose components of propositions or sentences. So we had that argument. Now let's take a look. Okay, so one of the sentences that we're talking about that makes up this argument that's a combination of sentences is the American League one, right? Put a little box around that. So we have two of those, right? And then the other sentence is the National League one. Put a kind of in a, a little uh, ellipse, a circular thing. So we have the there, there. So look, we already see either the boxed thing is true or the ellipse surrounded thing is true. It's not the case that the box thing is true. Therefore, it's not the case that the ellip the ellipse bound thing is true. And as usual, we just put in letters and start. Don't get confused. If you have problems with math, this is not math. It's just P is just saying the first sentence. There's no significance to picking out any particular letter. Logicians, guys who do logic, just tend to work this way. It's just to show you the pattern of inference that we're talking about. So we replace the boxes with the P's. If we replace the ellipses, the circular things, with Q's, we see either P or Q. It's not the case that P, the first one, therefore the second one has to be true. So the pattern is P or Q, not P, therefore Q. And this is something called, by, logist by logicians, disjunctive syllogism, or argument by elimination. The idea of disjunctive syllogism. Syllogism is an argument with two premises that come to a conclusion. And they're called disjunctive because the or is the is is the disjunction. That is one is true or the other. That's what a disjunction is. Argument by elimination, it kind of sets up, you know, there are only two possibilities, either one or the other, and you've eliminated one, so the other one has to be true. So that's where those names come. This inference is something that's that people usually get you know, pretty quickly, or certainly in comparison to the if-thens, these are a lot easier to understand.